Gradovi su mnogi slavni, ali meni jedan glavni Tvrđava mu čelo krasi, a Duna mu obraz kvasi Imena mu četiri dali, ti što su ga svojim zvali Polega i stari mlad, pa naravno, pa naravno, ta naravno Novi Sad 1826, the foundations of Serbian culture and science were built upon an institution called Mačta Srpska. Later, in 1864, that institution was moved to Novi Sad. By the generous contribution of Mary Trandafil, 100 years later, years later, was put here where it stands in 1926. This building stood as the primary headquarters of our cultural heritage. The Matitas Library holds over two and a half million documents, but the most interesting one is the Chronicle of Matita Srpska, the oldest magazine in Europe, which leaped the knowledge of its readers. Petroverodin Fortress, or Pils Fortress, by the Hungarian nobleman who requested the build of this 112 hectares of stone, sweat and blood, is the second biggest fortress in Europe. A hastily constructed fortress aroused many doubts in its strength. It guarded many religions, from Christians to Jews, from the verge of occupation. There was no doubt that the fortress was fragile. It also was the main battlefront between the Turks and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The fortress suffered furious destruction in World War I, as did the town next to it, Novi Sad, in the bombing attack, which was executed from the fortress itself in 1848. Fortunately, many Habsburg royals were involved in the construction and resurrection of this masterpiece, but one in particular is of most importance to the people of Novi Sad and its history. Maria Theresa was the one to give the people their own town and grant them their independence on the 1st of February, 1748. The clock on the fortress is her gift to us. The big hand on the clock shows the hours and the small one minutes so that sailors can tell the time when to come home to dinner. Town Hall is located in the main square of Novi Sad, on Liberty Square. It represents a copy of Town Hall in Graz, Austria. This work of architecture was constructed with elegance and beauty by J. Le Molna in 1895. All the administrations go through this building. Its style is daintly from the Neo-Renaissance period, which Julia Anike used to sculpt the city crest and 16 allegorical statues that symbolize everyday human activities of its townspeople. They are located on the windows on Town Hall. On the top of the building, we have St. Florian's bell. The bell's purpose was to alarm nearby firemen if a fire occurred. And the most significant and youngest mayor of Novi Sad is Svetozan Miletic. He coped with the problem of German language being used instead of Serbian. He also helped in moving the documents from the old Matisse Srpska in Bukarest to her new place here in Novi Sad. His statue stands cast in bronze on the Liberty Square on top of marble where it has gleamed since 1939. <laughs> Tvrđava mu čelo krasi, a Duna mu obraz kvasi, imena mu četiri dali, ti što su ga svojim zvali.